Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Today I'm asking Spirit for some messages about my twin flame connection. What are the intentions in this connection? Where are we headed? What does Spirit want me to know about my person and where this connection is going? I have fireworks. Thank you, Spirit. I have fireworks. Okay. Twin flames have high, high chemistry. We know that. A soul connection. It is absolutely a soul connection. We know that as well. I have restraints. Okay. Something is holding us back. Something is, um, I, I want to say interfering in this connection. It could be our past. It could be some old wounds, some, some, something is holding us back, holding our feelings, even though I feel like I'm falling deeply in love. So is your person holding back? Let's ask spirit that question today. Spirit saying bottom of the deck, I have a yes. So we need to find out what they're holding back for. Why are they holding back? Um, and what's going on in this connection? Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to know today in this, this connection? I have a page of wands. It came in in reverse. So it's almost like I'm, I'm having a hard time with the passion. It, it's a feeling of I'm struggling a little bit with um, the overwhelming energy. I have a four swords. I'm trying to put a hold on it. I'm trying to slow it down. I'm trying to, um, I guess, see it for what it is. It's an awakening. It's awakening something within your person that I feel like they're afraid of, okay? It's either, I know this is something bigger than us. I know this is a soul contract. It's it's going right to their core is how it just came into me. So it's something that they've never felt before. So their first reaction, their first gut reaction isn't to, to rush into it and jump into it and embrace it. It's to be scared of it, be scared of this energy because it's too intense. It's it's bigger than them. It's It's... It's too real for them. I have a strength. Spirit, give us strength in this connection. Putting some time and effort into this connection. They're thinking about their future. They're thinking about where do we go from here? Is it always going to be like this? Is it always going to be this intense? So they're struggling with just it's different than what it's been in the past. And they're comparing it to other relationships. And you can't compare a twin flame relationship to anything else. And I think that that's where the struggle's coming in. I know in my heart we'll be together one day, and that helps me to trust. Let's keep working on us. Here's the eight of pentacles. So I've got some work to do to be ready for this connection. I've got some work and some trust issues. I've got some vulnerabilities. I've got some insecurities. I've got to work on me is how it's coming in. I'm trying to connect to you and give you a message. Can you hear me? Twin flames have this incredible ability to um, reach out to their twin when they're thinking about them. It's almost like you get this um, telepathic uh, psychic message that says, I'm thinking about you. Their name pops into your head at, at, a, at an odd time of day. Um, you think about a memory out of nowhere at a, at, a, at a very specific time. So all of a sudden you realize that they're trying to talk to you. I want, I want to let my guard down with you, but my fear makes me lash out in self-defense. They are not used to this. You know, this is an awakening of I have never felt this way before. And, you know, what have you done to me? And why am I feeling this way? And I feel like you're controlling my mind. I feel like it's an out of outer body experience. So they really do struggle with it. A lot of a lot of twins will get afraid. And then that's when they become the runner. They avoid the, the, the situation. They run out of fear. They they struggle with this connection. Our love is eternal. It exists in every dimension and cannot be lost once we found each other. Look for the number 11. 11, 11 could be showing up on your radar screen in the next few days. I wanted to send you a message today, but I was afraid. There's the fear again. I don't know if you want to hear from me or if I can say the right things to you. So these twins are trying so hard to communicate with each other. There's all this love here. And it's like we just need to overcome the fear, overcoming the fear. 
I watch you on social media and the internet. It's my way of staying close and finding out more about you. So we have this feeling of I, I want, you know, I want to let my guard down. I want to reach out to you. I'm trying to communicate to you. So your twin flame is reaching out to you now. If you're hearing their name, you're feeling them in your soul, you can energetically sense them. You know they're thinking about you at this moment. They're probably thinking about you while I'm doing this reading. I have no doubt in my mind they are. Your twin is trying to connect to you your twin is trying to um, spirit just said literally find their way back home to you let's get one more message um, I can't fully be there for you as long as this other person is my life I know it's hard for you but I have to go through this experience in order to heal they could have a karmic energy that they have to cut ties with they're not ready to receive this connection you aren't ready to let them into this connection until those karmic ties are cut. So we are going to ask spirit to continue to guide you both. But I have a pretty good idea today that you are he hearing and feeling and sensing and psychically um, and um, energetically receiving messages from your twin. So um, we're going to put this out into the universe. I'll ask spirit to continue to guide you both. I want to thank Spirit for this message today. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that um, subscribe, hit the like button. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.